All right, boys and girls, we have come Kasomavi. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna head to head to Planet Massachusetts. At part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Part nine. Hi, welcome to part nine of Star Fox sixty four. So now we're gonna head to Planet Massachusetts. <laughs> So you're going to attack the enemy base? Great idea, Fox. It'll be a piece of cake, General. Good luck. I spot the train. I'm taking it out. Here come the little hyenas now. All right, here we go. We are on the second, and also probably, thankfully, last uh, Landmaster level. There aren't any more after this one. We're gonna be strict, sticking strictly to our wings after this. So, we have to take out the forever train. You know, the dinosaur train. The uh, train is late. The locomotive has not reached its intended destination on time. You know? We got to take out a train, basically. And uh, this one, probably unlike Titania, is probably like one of my favorite levels in this game. Like, this is, this, this is always a one that I always always look forward to if I decide to go here. Like, I think pretty much I really do I pretty much do go here for the uh, high score run. And yeah, there's there's a pretty big reason. There's a pretty big reason for that. So yeah. Anyway, our main objective is to take out the big train and that's also a good source that's a good source for points. You can take out the big cannons on the train and that will yield you some extra points too. It's just that it can be a little bit hard to control given the fact that the reticle for the Landmaster is always sort of moving very slightly. So it's definitely something. It's definitely a thing that you'll have to watch out for. Indeed. All right, come on. Actually, destroy that thing, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. How about no thanks? Anyway, I want to destroy the all of the carts on the train before it gets to that one, before it gets to the big old one. This is usually the point where you can actually do so. And uh, right here at the checkpoint, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a restore point situation. So, yes, right at the checkpoint, we're going to do that. Okay, so actually, nah, right here. We're going to do that right here. Because this is the point where you can do things one of two ways. So, we're going to do the boring option first. I say, well, I say the boring option because this is not typically the way I do things on Macbeth. So, we're just going to, we're just going to ignore this for right now. We're just going to ignore the uh, advice that Peppy's going to give right here and right now. Because we're not going to do that. I, I mean, I'm obviously going to... I'm going to shoot the switches. Shoot these switches, but I'm not going to do anything with them. We're not going to know what these are until, you know, later. I didn't expect half of you then. You're very lucky. Oh, who are these guys who are front? 
Alright, so this is Macbeth. This is the boss of Macbeth, obviously. And what you want to do is shoot out either the top or the bottom of the guy. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to shoot the switcher yet. Duh. Because that's the boring way. He's going to drop all these spears. <laughs> yeah, well, at least we can take out the boss, dude. <laughs> He's like, nah, we're not gonna do that. Shoot the bottom and the shoot the bottom and then the head first. Then, that is when you want to take out the main body, I believe. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, you can basically tell it's been like an absolute hot minute since I've done this. Since I've do actually done this boss fight. Because I don't do that! This is like the boring way. This is like the boring way of defeating this guy. The infinitely more satisfying way is coming up later on. And, oh god. He can shoot out those? For realsies? Ah, okay. Now I remember how to do it then. So shoot the train, I think. Yeah, shoot the train when it opens up, I think. Technically, you still can get the metal in this way since there are enemies that you can actually... Can you? Yeah. You can still get the metal, which is 150 points here. You can still do that. But again, why would you want to do it the boring way where you can do it the fun way next time? Get away! Whoa! All aircraft report. I'm having some trouble here. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. You worry about your own hide. Yo, uh huh? Yo, uh huh? I'm noticing like a lot of these, uh, a lot of these missions end with like, you know, their team giving their status at the end, like. They say different things depending on how much health they have. Like, Slippy will say, you know, I'm fine, I'm fine. And Peppy will be all like, I'm taking a few hits, but I'm okay if he's, like, if he's at, like, mid-health or something. But anyway, um, I'm going to make a separate save state because I need to record some extra footage. But here's where, th where things get interesting. I see the fuel bunker on the right side! Take the switch ahead! Shoot the eight switches to open the lock! So, we have to shoot these eight switches. And this is the more satisfying way. Because you'll see why later. One and two on the right side, three is on the left side. Four is on the right side. And uh, number five can be a little bit easy to miss, but it's right here. And number six is right here. If you do have Falco's ship, you know, all good, then he will shoot one of the switches, and all you have to do is shoot number seven. Okay, now here's the switch. Step on the gas. Step. Good going, Buck. No, get the way. Okay, stop it. Now it's 
our turn to kick some tail. Isn't that just the most amazing thing ever? Like, this is what I always, always, always do on Macbeth. Just freaking, just freaking do that to shoot the switches and then watch train go boom. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. And it's so satisfying just to hear that one, the, the train like conductor guy say, you know, no, hit the brakes. And he's like, I can't stop it. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Like, see this, this, this is like one of, this is like one of the reasons why Star Fox 64 is one of my favorite and 64 games. And one of my favorite games is just the amount of ways that things can go in each level can get like, can get really good. Like one of the other isn't wrong. And the more satisfying way is definitely the more satisfying way. It's so good. It's so badass. I love it. 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 <laughs> I, I can't say enough good about the about Macbeth. It's designed very well. The more satisfying outcome for mission accomplished just makes you feel like, you know, you've really accomplished something. It's it's great. It's so, so good. It's so good. But from that, you go from... You go from Macbeth to Area 6, or if you just want to take it the easy way, then you'll just go to Bulls. Either way, you do make it to Venom, but let's just say, again, you go for either the easy way or the hard way to the end. But either way, that is it. That is it. So, next time on Star Fox 64... We're going to head to the hard path where we go to the green planet that's shaped like a Y. Or the ball of, or rather, the part of space that has a Y in it. You probably know what I'm talking about. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.